NSFW, people who work in the adult film industry. What is the weirdest, creepiest, nastiest thing you've seen or experienced while working? I don't work in porn but a buddy I have used to work camera for them and the grossest thing was specialty porn. Evidently it does not smell good when an actor that clearly hasn't showered in a while then has literal shit mixed in. I've done a couple cam shows before. Weirdest was a guy who took me on private while he was smoking meth, wearing nipple clamps, and jerking off. He wanted me to control how long he held his hits for, and supposedly his husband was sleeping and unaware what he was up to. I actually didn't even do or show much myself and probably made about $50 off having him there for 10 to 15 minutes. I clicked on this. Can't stop reading, even though I'm really grossed out and want to stop reading. I've told this story before here on Reddit, but here it is. After all the things I experienced working in porn this one hit my soul the hardest. I was working for a gay fetish wrestling porn company around 2003 called Can-Am, which also owned a straight fetish wrestling porn company called Matroc. Both companies were owned by a larger distribution company called Marina Pacific, which also owned a gay porn company called Jet Set. Me and my co-worker X who ended up being one of my best friends would help out on Jet Set Productions here and there, where we met the owner Dave Kroll like Grohl, who was this overly tanned gray hair, Hawaiian shirt wearing slime ball, nice enough guy to us, but you knew who he was two seconds into meeting him, so back in the day gay for pay was still very much a thing, straight men were sought out to do gay porn, and we would have to pump them full of Viagra and have a TV, VCR combo with straight porn hooked to an extension cord so that when the guy gets soft in the other guy's mouth he could jack off and get hard again, most of these guys were sexual deviants as it was but the biggest incentive was the pay. Tilda $1,500 tops for a scene where you're the bottom. Pun intended. So we're doing this scene where this kid who was a month into turning 18, and still had his braces on his teeth, gets f***ed by two dudes. Kid does well. The dudes come on him. All is well. Except the kid comes up to me and X. He had heard from Dave that X directed straight porn for Matroc, and Dave had promised him that X could put him in a straight porn if he did gay porn, which at the time was the biggest lie ever, because no one crossed from gay to straight porn, no matter who you were, so me and X had to tell him this, and he starts crying. He goes on to say that Dave was trolling gyms looking for hot straight guys and telling them the same thing. If you want to do straight porn you have to do gay porn. Then he would make them stay at his house and give him blowjobs. Under the pretense that this is normal. You want to do straight porn. You gotta pay your dues. I never felt so low in my life. What the f*** were we a part of? Me and X told our boss. Who then brought it up to the owner of Marina Pacific who apparently threw a fit. This wasn't the first time this had happened, obviously. But they had enough. I don't know the details of what went down, but Dave lost Jet Set and the rights to his titles. And we put the kid in a straight porn with two chicks. He had a blast. I was an adult actor in the mid-90s. This wasn't me, but a buddy of mine. He was on a boat for a film shoot. He was also high on mushrooms. The director asked him if he would f*** midget. He didn't want to, so he told the director an absurdly high price. The director met that price. The there he was, tripping balls and balls deep in a little person. And somehow, I never found out how, the boat began to sink. They ended up getting rescued by the Coast Guard. I think this may have scarred him. It did make the news. But I tried googling it and came up with nothing. Anything before 2000 seems to be pre-history. Hey, I remember this and you're right, pre-Y2K stuff on Tay Interwebs is tough to find no metadata but I was able to scrounge up a blurb on Alexandra Silk's personal website. I vaguely remembered she was on the boat. That gave me the exact date and some other names. Places searchable phrases and from there I found the LA Times article. Now I had three performer names. Alexandra Silk. Montana Gunn and Nina Hartley. Then a quick pop off a hey to a name lookup database used to look up videos by performer name and by using all three names at once. I was able to identify the exact title they shot out there that night. Yep. Folks. You guessed it. 
it was Pussyman No. 15 aka Bone Voyage from David Christopher over at Snatch Productions. No, really, I can't make this shit up. Along with Alexandra Silk, Nina Hartley and Montana Gunn, Mila and Johnny Black were also on the boat. The male talent on the boat were Nick E, Marcus and Vince. There were others out there, news article has the head count at 16, except from LA Times article, April 19th. 1997-12-AM, Nina Hartley, an adult film actress, was one of 16 people rescued cold and wet from a sinking 44-foot cabin cruiser in the Catalina Channel off Long Beach late Thursday. I was terrified, Hartley said Friday, recalling the dramatic rescue that occurred after a day of filming off Santa Catalina Island. The last passengers were pulled to safety by Long Beach Fire Department rescuers just moments before the yacht rolled over and sank 11 miles offshore. They were out there in the dark, taking on water for a while when we came up alongside them, said Fire Captain Randy Grimm, a paramedic. Grimm described some of the passengers as mildly hysterical. Dot. 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 They had every right to be. No one on board required serious medical attention, Grimm said. Rescuers said that when they arrived, water in the cabin was chest deep and the rear of the boat was sinking as waves three to four feet high slammed into the wooden hull. The Coast Guard, which dispatched a rescue boat from San Pedro, is investigating the incident. The owner of the boat, identified as Joe Wilbur, told rescuers that he experienced engine trouble and lost all electrical power just before the boat began taking on water. Efforts were being made to retrieve the almost completely submerged boat which was floating down the coast. The rescue boats got there just in the nick of time, said Hartley, mentioning another actress on board, Montana Gunn. Hartley said, most of us didn't know much about boats, but Gunn had experience with boats and knew how much trouble we were in. She was very, very scared. Flashing strobe lights used for filmmaking helped the rescue boats find the disabled craft. They were extremely lucky, said lifeguard Gary Horn, skipper of the rescue boat. This one turned out well. Not a worker in the AFI not attractive enough. But I got a friend who used to be the IT guy in a porn production company. One day he got an email blackmail claiming that they know he's watching porn at work. And unless he pay up they'll tell his boss. His response is I work in the porn industry. If I'm not watching porn at work I'm not doing my job. Girls that deep throat tend to vomit a lot of the time. Dated a girl who did amateur porn and cam girl work. Weirdest thing was how much more people would pay for anything involving assholes, Liking paying up to double what they would for regular. Yeah like why would anyone pay more to add you to the shot? I knew a girl who worked a sex hotline in Halifax, NS and she said this old guy would call in regularly to talk dirty specifically with his Alan Rickman impression. I knew a guy that did gay for pay. He was offered $2,000 to take it like a man, so to speak. He was kinda broke so he went for it but he didn't prep properly. Despite being told numerous times to douche and all that. His words. I did it. Then hot brown lava came out. Please prep properly. I'm going to leave out names for obvious reasons but I saw a well-known male porn star miss a facial and instead of cleaning it up with a towel he licked his own semen off of the floor. So he reloaded. Come again. My dad used to work in the back of a studio and would ship the cassette tapes. One time he heard a director get mad because one of the actors got a boob job between filming and hated the inconsistent scenes. Very legit reason to get mad. A friend of mine used to do cam work and had a regular who would pay her upwards of $600 a session to 1. Tie her hair up in pigtails with orange ribbon 2. Cover the room in orange balloons 3. Wear orange lingerie 4. Squeeze oranges over her boobs. Yep. $600. That was a horny Dutchman. I worked for a big 90s porn star in 2005 and the first time she told me to bring her to set, carry her bags and kiss her goodbye, just to show everyone a male presence. We drive to the industrial side of East LA and she knocks and a big garage door opens unveiling a posh red rug with a Harley and a girl bent over the Harley with a yoked out dude behind her. The director finished telling him the scene as I walked in. The girl walks toward me absent-mindedly and farts. 
letting out an almost orgasmic sound. The guy walks the other way and kisses his boyfriend and says asterisk classic gay lisp oh god. I don't know if I can do this shit. Disbelief shattered. All magic lost. Not in the film industry. But I do run a kink club. Nothing excessively weird happens that I will witness on my way around. But the utter smell of people in the orgy rooms. I cannot stress how bad the smell is. Imagine the smell of sweaty Balsac X100. It definitely gets overwhelming if you get hit by it. Actual mother-daughter. MIA Malkova's mother went to her first scene to supervise. Wonder if anyone's tried to cast her and her brother together, just for fun. My husband used to work on set of filming. One thing that horrified him was seeing how dirty, messy it'd get. So many times they'd have to stop filming to clean up poop. And since scenes would often take hours, the smell would get awful, especially during the summer time. Oh God, I was an adult actor in the mid 90s. We were often in the San Fernando Valley, in summer, in an unair conditioned warehouse. Let's just say it sometimes got ripe. I'm an erotica photographer I've seen a lot of things but nothing that bad. My first photo shoot ever was to a girl dressed as a baby. She used a massive dildo and a pacifier. Another one started her period and I had to tell her because she didn't realize. That was in my house. I had to clean after. I had to tell a girl she forgot to take off her tampon. That was awkward. Another masturbated furiously with rose petals and it was so violent I got nervous. I'm really new to this so this are the things that make me really uncomfortable. I'm a lesbian woman but let me tell you something. I'm really tired of looking at vaginas. The creepiest thing is seeing how high out of their mind some of these girls are. Some of them are so f high they can barely stand up straight. Really makes you think about what the hell you're doing. I get really sad when I click on a porno and then it's super obvious the chick is just f up out of her mind. Kills the mood and I just sit there feeling bad for her.